Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Mo Spallin. I gotta utilize this account a little bit more, just a little bit, nothing too crazy. But seriously, like real talk, I realized that I have only been uploading like no auction house videos, rags to riches, stuff like that. But what I started YouTube for was to make helpful videos that help people in different various ways. So if someone ever comes to my channel, they have the answers to every question they can possibly have. That's really been what I was trying to do. So people always ask me questions and I try my best to answer them but i want to make it out there for everyone so i'm going to start making different type of videos i'm going to keep rags to riches once a week for right now i think i'm gonna make no auction house twice a week for right now we'll see what it is but our answer for today is is this bobby jones worth it right bobby jones power forward small forward glitched reward in the exchange so what do you need to get this card you need an eddie curry you need a justice winslow a sim nine matt bonners nine precious and nine isaac okuros okay so you need a total of 27 cards from the amethyst and three diamond cards so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take a look about how much they cost if we were to buy these cards how much it would be looking like and honestly it shouldn't be too expensive at all it really shouldn't we're gonna discuss this as we go we're gonna play with him a little bit we're gonna see how he is and see if he was worth the price tag so we all should know that the amethysts are the easiest cards to pull that's why they're not too expensive you can always try to snipe one here or there we just got one for 1600 that's pretty nice you can also bid snipe bid sniping is probably it a lot of the time so what that is is when i go like that i probably just want that i probably just want that we saw the cheapest was like 1600 i don't want to pay 1600 maybe i want to or no it was 1700 i think right it was 1700 say i want to buy 16 or i want to pay something like that so you can always do that wait till they're about to expire and try to get them for a little lower we'll go ahead and check yep you see we did end up bit siping a bunch of them and these are all going to where are they going they're going to our exchange so we can just send them straight to our auctions right now i bought three so far three and the other ones not yet so we'll go ahead and keep buying no curl we got to remember how much we're paying for these so let's take a look at where we started i will remember that we'll keep that in mind and we'll take a look at the end but so far we haven't paid more than 1.7 for any once again we can bid snipe otherwise if i'm in a rush i could just go ahead and pay 1700 or whatever there's a 15 i just got that i just skipped over these 14s i didn't even see these to be honest and i wasn't gonna get them anyway but we just got a 15 a 16 which is lit let's go ahead and refresh i'll just buy these because we kind of in a rush and that's not too expensive to be fair it's not too expensive it's a good price definitely a good price to get through all right so let's start the process the process for this bobby jones here's number one two three you guys don't have to see this i'll finish this up real quick and here is number nine next we got matt bonner i don't know how much you're going for but i'm gonna guess and i'll just try to bits night there i'll put one there all right let's go find out how much he's going for real quick matt's a little more he's going for about 2k all right about 2k so i know where i can bid snipe at i couldn't even get this one for 1850 that's how fast they go in right now so good to know i could sit here and try to filter try to win it like this or like i said we can try to bid snipe so let me do that knowing that 2000 is the most i'm willing to pay so i'll go 1900 you're not gonna win a lot of them some of them you're not gonna get for sure but you will win some so you're gonna win you're gonna lose whatever it may be i'm just trying to do this as cheap as possible that's really what it comes down to at the end so i'm always gonna bid 1900 so we know how much we actually end up buying them for just so we have an idea that way it's just good to know you know you know where you're buying how much you're paying every time so 1900 whatever we get back we subtract that from it here we go time to check so we did definitely win a bunch of these right we did lose some for sure as well oh we lost a lot but we did win some too so that's good we'll take our mt right back and we chilling all right here we go we're just gonna buy these for 1950 not really gonna sit here and just waste my time i want to see how good this card is but if you're patient you're literally gonna get these for like so cheap you just gotta refresh look at this 1400 15 you could just buy these for literally nothing if you really want it all you really gotta do is refresh here or there and that's all she wrote that should be our fifth right there six seven eight nine it sucks that i gotta add them like this like one by one by one i wish i could click on all of them but since they're not like in my collection i literally gotta sit here and do each one individually so it turns out i miscounted and i bought an extra one i thought i had exactly the right amount but it looks like we got one extra one so i could sell it back 
or I could just, I'm gonna send it to my collection. It's cool, we'll keep that one. We'll start the same way. We'll start with the bit sniping wars, right? Well, let's figure out how much you're going for as always. Once again, it's the same thing, right? I don't have to show you guys this. Let me just knock this all out. We just got one for 1250. Patience is key, let's get it. Bro, I'm getting these real cheap on the bit snipes. I just got those like so cheap. I think I paid like 1200 for each. Now our goal is to find out how much the diamonds are. I see Eddie Curry for 8.2. That actually looks really, really good. Wow, that actually was really cheap compared to the next cheapest. I should have just bought that, but I didn't realize. So the 8.2s are still up if I want, or I could bid snipe like we talked about. I think I just want to get that out the way, right? I'll just buy that for 8.2. But hypothetically, if, 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 I'm just saying, hypothetically, I could have been here and... I could have, I think, right? I think I could be wrong. But if I go in here and I go like 7.5, maybe you end up winning that. Maybe you don't. You could always try. It's just throwing out suggestions. You feel me? Now, here we go. We're going to take Winslow 7.5K. Not bad at all. I like it. I really do like the price ranges I'm getting these at for right now. And I'm not even patient. Like, I'm literally buying the first one I see for that price. If you're patient and you actually wait, I think you could get them even cheaper and cheaper. How much is this one? Why can't I see the price? Hello? <laughs> that one's so, so cheap. You could get it for free. For free. Sim 4.9K. I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you. We just finished everything. So we go ahead here. We add Sim to the exchange. Now, obviously, if you were doing this for yourself and you were trying to level up and stuff, I would recommend doing the XP challenges first, right? Before you pick up these cards, before you send them to the exchange, I should say. And that way you'll get both Bobby Jones and you'll get all the XP done. But there we go. That's all we had to do. We got Galaxy Opal Bobby Jones. That is lit. And you guys can see, you see our MT. We literally spent 65K. That's exactly what I spent. You could say it was one or two K more, but I still have one Matt Bonner. But nah, maybe like maximum 70K is what I spent. And that was me buying them ASAP, not really waiting, looking for anything. I just bought them as soon as I could. And we got a new Galaxy Opal who we're going to take a look at. We're going to check him out for sure. We're going to see what he's good at, what he's not good at. See what badges he needs that I feel like. But number 24, Bobby Jones. If you use the pink diamond, you know he can do it all. And that's the main reason I wanted him. Because I really like the pink diamond one. I felt like he was elite on both ends of the floor. And this one honestly should be nothing less. He really should be nothing less. 35 Hall of Fame badges to start. Catch, corner, difficult. He's got clamps, defensive leader, hard crusher, interceptor, intimidator. Dude's really probably can do it all showtime is there downhill handles for days quick first step unpluckable dead eye flexible so man's a real real shooter now he's got the range extender the volume shooter that was really the only issue with the pink diamond right like his shooting was good but not the best now he's got diamond pickpocket rim protector all on gold these are the badges he's missing right you got drop step flashy break starter right you got the lob city stuff you got rebound chaser worm consistent finisher that's kind of a badge you could probably want Want, right consistent finisher i'm on current gen once again for anyone to remember pick and roller he's missing which isn't a problem clutch shooter green machine definitely a badge he's missing hot zone hunter he's missing steady aka blinders floor general brick wall so crazy nothing really you can definitely add those badges not too expensive he's got a 97 three ball 92 mid range 95 driving dunk 86 ball handling the look at the defense he is elite 97 all throughout rebounding could be a little better but the speed is great 95 speed 95 speed with ball y'all should know how this bobby jones plays like i said he's 6'9 i should have went ahead and compared him to his older version right just to see but that's a big difference his three ball going up plus 17 and i was already pretty good with the pink diamond one i felt like but no, this should be different, especially if the shooting, the defense is just as good as before. He got a little faster though, for sure. And main difference is the badges. Like 35 hold of fame badges is no joke. You can always add the missing badges there. And for 70K, let's see if this card is worth it. Now, first things first, hot zones everywhere. I hope his jump shot's different than the other one. Oh yeah, his jump shot's different. 
is definitely different than the pink diamond that's all i was really kind of thinking about worried about i barely held that one like that was just a terrible release i thought that was like so off and i always forget i always shoot on that side my bad my bad i gotta get used to shooting here especially like if we're doing gameplay i never really do that stuff but now stats wise 70k for this card looks great right it does now the one thing i will say though our cards are really cheap right now like a lot of them like ak this card kind of reminds me of ak to be honest like stats wise and all that at least that's the first name that comes to mind so i gotta check ak's price before i would actually commit to something like this to see like is it me paying more am i paying less is bobby really like that right now i'm not greening right i still haven't figured it out there it is there it is come on come on let me get that green window let me figure that out he's green though like even if it's not green it's still going in like it's lights out i'm gonna play an online game 5v5 we out we about to have fun with it i think i'm gonna play limited just for giggles let's see if he could hold his own i know it's cheesy out there in those limited streets so we'll see if bobby jones could hold his own and I like the jump shot for sure. I think he's great at dribbling the ball. At least for me, I really can't do too much. And he's going to be a lot of fun. So here we are entering our first limited game with Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Bobby, Bobby. Are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready, man. This guy's court is pretty fire. I mess with the courts, man. Nice, nice. At least it's not all black. R.I.P. Chadwick, for real, for real. All right, first play. Here we go, baby. Bobby. Bobby actually stopped that, but he came out of nowhere to stop it. So I don't want to bring it up. But let's see. His movement, like I said, is interesting. I just can't dribble. I'm just here to see my man's takeover, right? That's what we're here for. Yes, sir. First play. First dunk. Nice and easy. I didn't want to play Unlimited because that's my rags to riches lineup. Like, my record for rags to riches. I didn't want to ruin that. Yeah, I don't know why I can't move that well. It's like not letting me. There we go. There we go. I just need a little space. Just a little space. All right. I'm going to I'm gonna get this. We going to get this. Look. Watch me slow him down, though. Watch. Ooh. All right, Bobby. You're having one of the worst showcases ever, man. Come on, Bobby. Come on. Show me that. Show me a little something, bro. This showcase not going so well. Let's go. Let's heat up. I just want to see Brody go crazy, man. Six points with literally in three minutes. That's not crazy. That's a bucket every minute. No way. Here we go, Bobby. Come on, baby. Come on bucket every minute that's what i like to see that's literally what we've been doing four minutes four buckets now do i miss free throws because then i'd be kind of cheating i think i'm cheating now now that i in the first four minutes we going up instead of eight we had ten that's no bueno bobby bobby for three there we go second quarter whole different animal you feel me look at this man's bro i just want to let it fly the weird thing is like he knows i'm not trying to pass or whatever and it makes it like life so difficult but it makes it that much more entertaining when i can score you feel me hey 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 my dude is a finisher bobby go crazy baby go crazy all right so we know my man's what is that let's go baby hey take a oh he's got sharp oh he's got sharp takeover it's about to be lit hey bobby come on bro Come on, bro. I should have been going off with him. I don't know what's good with him. Hey, hey, hey. Go crazy, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Right away. Come on. Don't worry about it. Aha! Don't worry about nothing, boy. He's getting like double team, triple team. Bro, I'm not passing the ball to nobody. I mean, I didn't want to, but here we go. We might have to at least. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Give me that N1 right back, boy. Let's go, man. Let's go, baby. Bobby all the way. He's his driving is crazy. One of the best drivers in this game right here. Give me that, baby. Let's go, man. Another this takeover. All right, I'm actually gonna do something with this takeover because I haven't shown y'all anything about him. Right? Takeover. There we go. Green light. My man's a shooter, shooter. Like, yeah, he can drive. Yeah, he could defend, but he could shoot, shoot. Hey, oh, jump for me. Jump for me, boy. Jump for me, boy. Let's go, Bobby. Hey. Too much space, bro. Too much space. Too much space. Shooters going to shoot, baby. Come on, take over. Bobby, I need you, boy. I need you. Come on, go crazy. 47. Nice, soft. I like it. Bobby Jones for the game. Bang. Any shot. It don't even matter. GG's. That's GG's, boss. Let's go, Bobby. GG's, boss. I'm going to quit. Have a good one. 50 what? How much did he have? 50 what? 53, 55, something like that. My son, he's nice. He's nice. I think he's worth it. I didn't want the win. I don't play on this account. Someone else could have that. We didn't need none of that. So it was pretty fun. Now, if you sit here and go compare him to like Chris Bosh, KG, right? Zion. Some of those cards that are out right now, like Carmelo, for example. Or maybe we don't even have to go to Dark Matter. We could just look at some of the Opals out. 
he's way better than these cards that I'm looking at right here. I think he's way better than anyone that I've seen so far on this end of the spectrum. Now you got this like group of tier of people, right? You got like the Kuzmas and stuff. And what I will say right off the bat is I just know this guy's way better defensively. Like he just feels so good defensively. He's really, really fast. Now the jump shot could be better. It's not bad at all. I think it's green. I think it's green if you open you hitting that all day i had just that bad first quarter plus the dude was like triple team and doubling all that he clearly wanted it but regardless like besides like kd i think he's up there in that spectrum right especially that weber can't play the four he's elite at the one and three but he's a top tier card and for 70k it's not bad now as someone who's used danny ferry a lot i will sit here and tell you danny ferry is a lot better in my opinion i think if you have danny you don't go get bobby but if you need like a budget danny and when i say budget i mean someone that's more attainable and he's kind of like a fake kind of danny fairy I, I could see bobby as that he's definitely elite for 70k if you could get him for less like if you snipe some of the cards and somehow get it for 60 or 50 definitely gonna be worth it in my opinion other than that you're probably better off buying some cards all right but yeah card is pretty fun definitely had fun i should have kept that game so the stats counted what did i play i played a tto offline with him but yeah i should have definitely kept his stats but it's cool we, he definitely could do better especially in a team setting i think so i think he's a great defender like i said definitely go get him if you need his shot is way better than the pink diamond so i really like this card a lot with all that said though let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys are gonna pick him up it's been your boy most balling and balling out